34.3, when I cut out, and it was shaking, it was shaking. I could have gone up to 40. In the experiment you just watched, you noticed that the dials went up slowly, and then suddenly they started going up very fast, and the vibration of the whole uh, uh, unit became very great. This is exactly what happens when you're in your motor car, and you hit about 40, 45 miles per hour, and suddenly there's a big wind when you stick your hand out the window. It's like uh, uh, the, vibra the uh, revolutions per second, you know, uh, change the amount of inertial force that the uh, magnet spinning around, whatever weight is, is at whatever diameter or going around a hypothetical axle, reaches a point where it begins to support the movement. At first, when you start out, you need a great deal of energy to turn over the thing very slowly. So you saw these very low, and even though the capacitors are, are helping by having some energy in them, that's registered here, they started going up very slow. That was because it took more air pressure going to make it uh, accelerate. Then it reached a certain point, around 350, 400 revolutions per minute, and at, at a given diameter of weight, this varies. I've been pulling in the diameter weight of the magnets and making the magnets lighter and more powerful in order to raise that critical value for the sake of uh, the little electric motors that I use that I want to stabilize before the flywheel effect where the inertia of the weight is greater than the uh, twisting power of whatever's making it go, at which point it accelerates wildly and turns a motor into a generator. What you just saw is actually giving you better acceleration, more reliable acceleration than any electronic, electrical motor or device that I have attached to it to drive uh, the, the the uh, generators. These are the generators on the end. They're identical. Six magnets, nine sets of coils, each of 400 windings. And these uh, capacitors uh, hold uh, several hundred uh, UFs, uh, and so they amount to a passive load. An active load, if these were lights, it would tend to impede the, the system and the electrical forces would then uh, be uh, uh, aiding the slowdown to make it harder to overcome to accelerate. So the uh, capacitors are always put there in, as a mediary, a buffer between the load and the uh, and the uh, direct action. In the case of magnetic drives, you found from our, my, our other videos that the coils in the magnetic drive act as a reservoir for the energy being generated by the generators, and that's the whole key. It means that the generating system, whether it's this, vibration, little uh, amplification motors, driving things under this, your seat, you know, all are balanced with the driving thing. As they go in, they activate the drive, so the drive has more torque to overcome inertia. As it uses its torque, it backs up the energy toward the buffer uh, batteries or, uh, or capacitors in between the two units and will cause an impedance, you know. But if it's going several hundred revolutions per minute, the impedance actually acts positively, uh, the load, the direct load acts positively to stabilize the device at a level which is the level of the uh, parameters of the controller unit you have, which have override features and underride features that cut out the current, similar to your computer. Your computer, of course, has much narrower limits. You know, if it wants five volts, it's only going to take a few uh, decimal points over five and under five, you know, so that uh, all of the data will uh, come out. In this case, it's a few hundred uh, revolutions one way or another. Thirty-eight, 
39 volts, 37.5. Almost 40 volts, and water started coming out. So I think this gives you a higher voltage faster than electric motors on the end. And there's not the problems of heat buildup in them from backup and whatnot. This proves that it's practical to have frontal uh, air turbines on transport, adding energies directly to the magnetic drives of the wheels. And we already have electronic drive systems of 48 volts from China for only a couple hundred dollars that will drive a vehicle up to 100 kilometers per hour, 70 miles per hour.